Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing um, Impossible Iron Man Hardcore, hardest difficulty, one safe game, no uh, failures allowed. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Highland Square and an arms robbery. Um, we are taking our B team uh, into action again. Last time they were pretty successful. Haven't changed a lot. Double shotgun, double SMG again. Uh, that is how we're rolling. I found the team and their mobility quite good. Torg added a lot of mobility with her tongue grab and shelter um, in itself is a very mobile character. And I'm beginning to appreciate Torg more and more. Um, she's a really strong character. I am considering whether or not Torg um, and the A-team would make a good uh, fit. Not sure yet. Uh, Torg versus Sapphire. Um, are two pretty strong character uh, characters with very different um, uh, roles. I got a test which um, layout I like better. Weapon at this location. Hostiles unaware of our approach. Perfect. Time for breach mode. So surprises everyone. Units turns uh, jumps forward to directly follow the previous agent's turn. Uh huh. Okay. Entering through here marks you uh, until the end of the encounter. Well, that's not perfect, but again, what are we supposed to do? Not much. Good. Time for a breach. Let's go, buddies. Move in now. Hello. So we got a necromancer. Very good target. Faceless one. Um, good target. Cobra. Very good target. Trooper. And another trooper. And another trooper. I would say we're starting with a cobra. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. I love it. I like fighting the Necromancer as well. Let's hit everyone with a Dazzle. That means no summonings from the Necromancer. And we can deal with him next turn. Let's kill the Cobra, come on. Very nice. All right, we took one shot. That is still fine. Target spotted. Good, easy enough. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, pretty straightforward mission. Oh, Torque didn't get all the way up there. I see, I see. Oh, that stinks. Well, you know what? I'd like her to be up here. Good, so that's a starter. This here should deal with a lot of the Necromancer. Nice little seven points of damage. Necromancer down to 1 HP. Hmm. It's almost wasteful to hit him. Damn it.
Good, we gotta deal with this guy somehow. Unfortunately, Torque doesn't have two abilities, like two damage abilities, because getting rid of the Necromancer would be so helpful. But sometimes you don't need to do a flashy play. Sometimes it's as simple as get into full cover and hit the guy. Good enough. That's another Necromancer. I don't think that I want to stand in the open. I mean, we could switch our position to here. But there will be a lot of enemies that are going to move. I think I would much rather prefer to... Hit the Necromancer here, take away his cover. Starting point. Hmm. We need it for healing, so um, because our um, soul bolt is healing ourselves, might as well just take a normal shot and leave our cooldown on shelter up. Oh yeah, he will need the healing. Engaged. Yeah, that's the disadvantage of being marked. Thankfully, we have a nano med kit right next to him. There we go. You know, 50-50, why not? Everyone else was also 50-50. Plus there was a chance that we're actually killing the trooper. Target spotted. Somehow, they absolutely love shelter. Eradicating. And although he's in half cover, everyone's going for him. Okay, so double movement and double movement, fair enough. Good, this is going to hit both of them. One of them will die. And let's get the melee enemy, uh, the melee uh, targets down first. That's what I would call a target rich environment. Lots and lots and lots of enemies. Nice. Relocating into an equally okay position.
Yeah, we can't kill the trooper, but we can kill the faceless one, plus heal ourselves. Oh, I actually thought that the trooper would die. Well, that changes our plan quite a bit. Ouch, shelter has a problem now. Alright. Gone. It's a 50-50. He will uh, hit shelter. And we can't kill the berserk, so might as well try to hit him. I was wrong. <laughs> the two big boys are going at it. I love it. Okay, we definitely need to get there. Shifting my position. There we go. Moving over. That's our epic shotgun, uh, our epic uh, SMG. Healing ourselves. And softening up the berserk. Uh, we can't probably can't kill him, but we can deal a lot of damage. We needed to reload, unfortunately. Ouch. I need to reload. Good. We're catching a couple of them. Mainly because we need unconscious targets for intel. Yeah. Pretty... Uh, pretty rough mission. It, <laughs> it was a slugfest. Good, we got an epic weapon, minus unrest, the 20 intel, and 40 credits, which is great. Shelter, what am I thinking? That it's time to eat. Wow, you really can read my mind. What are you talking about? Didn't you use your psionic abilities to see what I was thinking? No, I would never. Your belly rumbled when you asked. Oh. So, want to get something to eat? You read my mind. I read your stomach. Come on, let's go. Good. So, Claymore got the new ability. Claymore throws a grenade that adheres to an enemy, causing them to uh, fall back to a new location. When the unit stops running, the grenade explodes for uh, four uh, turns cooldown. Good old sticky grenade. Um, I personally like it. I, uh, his grenade kit uh, builds up and up and up. And if you go for imp um, improvised explosives, then uh, and you use his ability regularly, then you will always have uh, be kind of a walking weapon arsenal. We still need more breach equipment, and that's what I'm trying to get at the moment. So that's where the additional credits will go to. 
Once we got that breach equipment, we can finally go for masterwork weapons. I think it's about time for that. Got even more money here, if we wanted it, and more Elarium. You know what? Scrap the Elarium. This will be completely gone, by the way, because Friday uh, it will be fully erased. And we are indeed at zero, um, at a zero level. A couple of new f um, missions, though. I like it. This here is probably the one that we're doing. Reflex Crypt is great. Um, so it's a good mission. And having Reflex Crypt plus extra credits is even better. We have a lot of credits and a lot of Valerium now. One more round until tactical equipment is uh, ready. And we got the training completed uh, with Mind Lash. So that's another great ability, by the way. Mind Lash. Mind Flay deals an additional one damage to each enemy in the neural network. So no more three damage per, but we're talking four damage per. And that is just incredible. We also got Field Payday, that's why we are so rich. And we might want to train Blue Blood with Quick Reload. Reloading for him is a free action. I totally like that. So our Prime Team almost has uh, finished training afterwards. Good. In terms of supplies, I mean, since we have 450, let's take a look. We could take a couple of uh, weapon modifications. I mean, expanded magazines never hurt, but 55 is a bit of a stiff price uh, for, for what it does. We could buy two magweaves, probably good, because we only have two at the moment. I would like to buy the extra equipment once it's available. The breach equipment. Yeah, you know, I think getting one more of these is fine. Do we really need a stock? I don't know. I mean, the auto loaders are good. Don't get me wrong. Um, specifically when we run out of ammunition. Might as well take one of those, and that's about it. He frequently runs out of ammunition. His expanded magazine is good, I like it, but he might want to consider taking an autoloader instead. That way he has effectively six shots, so three uh, normal shots with his shotgun and then after the auto loader another three which is okay oh by the way I think we we just got ourselves oh yeah we got a new weapon and it has the chain shot ability I like that Minus 15 aim, um, chain shot has three turns cooldown, and you essentially can shoot twice after teleporting. That's pretty good for him. I like it. Instead of extra padding, we wanted to give him... the mag weave. Flux weave isn't bad as well. Immunity versus disorientation and stun 
can mean, specifically when we fight against psychers, that you can't be crowd controlled. But the vast majority are currently using physical damage, so 50 dodge is kind of a no brainer. For her loadout, I think we're fine. Shock grenade. Oh yeah, I think we got that a bit earlier. Robotic damage too. Stuns the affected uh, unit and deals damage to only robotics. Well, that is fine. I think we're good to go. Our next target is going to be the essential personal, where we are going to get another reflex grip as a weapon mod. That's great. And we're one day closer to the actual mission. Okay, and that's the end of today's episode, uh, guys. A bit of a shorter one. Uh, nonetheless, uh, the team has performed quite well. I like how the B team is starting to to kind of develop its own identity. And one thing that I appreciate about this game is you can uh, take four completely different um, agents and still have a somewhat functional team. So unless, well, I still have to find a combination which is completely dysfunctional. This combination definitely works. Um, Albeit it has a couple of disadvantages, of course. It's not as strong as the other one, but it has its own identity and that is really fun. Thank you for watching, see you on the next mission and smash the like button. Bye bye!